We are now days away from the total solar eclipse. We've talked about city and state preparations, potential economic impacts, health and safety concerns, and tips for creating the best viewing experience. But one thing we haven't discussed is the eclipse's potential impact on animals. That's why THV 11 meteorologist Simone Thomas sat down with zoo officials to get their unique perspective. While we're getting excited and making plans for the eclipse, some of our furry and winged neighbors have no idea what's ahead of them. Dr. Sarah Stoneberg with the Little Rock Zoo says that's exactly why we'll be keeping an eye on our animal friends. When it comes to the eclipse, um, I think it's a very much a human driven kind of phenomenon. Unfortunately, most of the animals don't even recognize it's happening. They're like, wow, that's a really big cloud. And then they kind of just go back to what they're doing and it's just another day for them. Dr. Stoneberg says that some animals may be more sensitive to the eclipse than others. So we do sometimes see changes in what we call crepuscular or noctur in nocturnal animals. You may have already heard of nocturnal animals and how their activity is most prominent during the nighttime, crepuscular animals activity falls somewhere in the middle. Crepuscular are animals that are up during the dawn and evening. So they're active during that time when it's kind of like the twilight phase. Think your foxes. While this won't necessarily mean that we'll see a bunch of wild foxes hanging out during the eclipse, the zoo is offering the opportunity to watch for any behavioral changes. We're doing what we call citizen, uh, citizen science kind of project. And that's for the people that are coming to visit that they can kind of take notes and see if they see anything in the animals. Since the zoo has another eclipse event in the works, Dr. Stoneberg says that this project will help keep tabs on how each animal reacts to the big day. There may be that one animal that reacts differently to this and having our guests out there kind of observing our animals during that time is going to give us a lot more information. Another chance at learning from this rare event in hopes of gaining a better understanding of the impacts of a total solar eclipse. And for more information about Eclipse Day at the zoo, you can visit their website at littlerockzoo.com. For any other questions, remember THV11 is your Eclipse Central. For our curated list of everything Eclipse, just text the word Eclipse to 501-376-1111.